What is up guys, Spring on one and welcome to my live reaction for Hunter x Hunter chapter 385 warning. Alright guys, so right off the back, I'm going to say sorry for the lateness of this video, but due to things coming up and things kind of happening, I didn't have the chance to sit down and record the live reactions. So I'm trying to get a bit more consistent with getting the chapters out either out on the day they get released um, via you know, all the apps and all that kind of stuff, or the official release, which normally is like a Monday. So that's what I'm planning to do. Uh, obviously, today you're going to get everything Black Clover, um, Haiku, Shogeki no Soma, and obviously Hunter X Hunter. The only one you're not going to get at the moment is um, The Promised Neverland, because it seemingly hasn't been released yet, or hasn't been dropped, or hasn't been leaked, or anything like that yet. So as soon as that appears, I will do. I will bring that one to you guys as well. But anyway, guys, let's get straight to this week's chapter. Hunter Hunter has been pretty much near these last few weeks. Nothing really happening. Nothing truly exciting. A lot of information. I just want to see what's going to go down. Let's find out. Let's do this. Okay, so we've got Hunter Hunter, chapter three hundred and eighty-five. Warning. Eighth day. Sunday, 7.35 p.m., we're in room 1004. Close your eyes and focus. Zetsu, with a honed sense of hearing, has a rather high difficulty level. Now maintain your Zetsu while listening to my orders and answering my questions. Okay? No matter what you hear or what questions I may pose, do not move in the slightest. Simply maintain your Zetsu. In that condition, 60 minutes will feel like a very long time. Okay? So it looks like we're, we're with uh, one of the printers that is learning Zetsu now. Huh. There's something on your left shoulder. Alright. From the top again. Hang on. That's playing dirty, Theta. It will be much more severe when it comes from an enemy. No, it's nothing. Is something the matter? Focus, right? So, Alright, so he's it. Don't let your focus stray on outside sounds. I mustn't rush it. Okay. So she's trying to just keep things simple. Fourth Prince Cedric has an incredible amount of aura within him. The very moment he undoes his Zetsu, his guardian beast will appear. And at that point, Physical attacks will be impossible. So if I'm going to kill him, I need to do it quickly and with certainty. But if I want to do that, I need to get him to not respond to various sounds and feelings with undoing his Zetsu. By using a fully realized Zetsu to completely cut off that aura, that is the source of the Guardian Beast's energy, is not enough. There is the possibility that the Guardian Beast will be able to remain temporarily with his residual power that still remains. Worst case scenario, I will have to have him maintain Zetsu for over 40 minutes. Okay? Your Highness, it's nothing. The Prince is concentrating. Please do not interrupt. Okay? Anyway, let's just consider their little intrusion part of your training. You need to be able to maintain your Zetsu without getting interrupted by things like them. Now then, now, let's start over again. Alright, starting now, you can do anything you want to me. I'm going to get serious about this. Even if you were writhing in pain and foaming at the mouth, not even a hair on my neck will budge, so do not worry. His switch has been engaged. Yes, sir. Now, the Prince's concentration has into an entirely different level. Okay. So it looks like he's gone to Zetsu. So his Nen Beast is seemingly disappearing. Okay. So it looks like she's doing something. Alright. So something's happened. Alright. So she's pulling a gun. Dear passengers, we apologize for this sudden announcement. As a as a present, a surprise 
musical performance from the Royal Sponsored sponsor Concert for everyone from the high area decks 1 and 2. Okay. Performance will be given by Miss Melody of the Hudson Association, along with a duet by Lady Kacha and Fugetsu. It's incredible. This is incredible, Your Highness. A completely immaculate Zetsu. We will first begin with Miss Melody's flute performance. With this, with this talent, if only he were the kind of person that would use it for the sake of others. Please give your undivided attention and listen. At the very least, I'll finish you swiftly and painlessly with one shot. So they're paying to kill him. Okay. Alright. Bang! Stay in the shot, show him straight to the head. And then we'll be following along right after. So she's taking shot, shot him straight in the head. Okay. We've got the music. What? The print has vanished. No, even crazier than that. The blood stains are gone. Nice. What was that gunshot just now? There you go, don't move. Why was the prince's ability? It couldn't be. The prince was in Zetsu. Okay, so she's kind of freaking out what the hell's going on. This was just part of our training. There's no issue here. Well, Theta, how was my Zetsu? I didn't even flinch to your gunshot, right? I killed him. I'm sure of it. He's lying right there. There's so much blood. And his brains were splattered everywhere. Think you really took it too far, Theta. Your Highness, this is all a little bit worrying. Okay, so we've got a growl. Theta's like, what? Hey. Why don't you rest a bit, Theta? You are bracing yourself. You were bracing yourself that whole time, weren't you? Okay, so we've got the Nen visit. The next time that you answer the printer's question falsely, you will cease to exist as a human. Okay. Interesting. So the Nen Beast can actually talk. And she just passes out. Time flew by. Yes, we rushed over here the moment that we heard the gunshot. But suddenly a beautiful landscape unfolded before our eyes. In that moment, we were unable to move at all. Most likely the music performance that was being broadcast was the cause of it. They originally planned to broadcast 8th Prince Sally Sally's shitty rap, right? Yeah, the problem was someone from the Hunter Association by the name of Melody. Summon this Melody to me at once. Do it under the pretense of an invitation. An invitation? That will be different than an order of summons. They do have the right to refuse it. Let's just start by feeling it out. Depending on if she, if she answers yes or no, we can infer things about the situation. Okay. So the question is, how did he survive? I can trust you, can't I? Theta. Okay. Well, that was fast. What time is it? It's all right. You weren't even asleep 15 minutes. But enough, Theta. Okay. I'll take care of the rest. Okay, so it looks like she's got some markies now. You just rest now. What are you saying? I can't just stop at this point. And how are you supposed to fill in for me now? Okay, so he's handed her a mirror. This must have been Prince, the prince's guardian beast's work. Yeah. It marks you with a scar for your first life. Next, it warns you with words and signs. If you go against its warning, a punishment crueler then death is waiting for you. Okay. Interesting. But at this rate, I know. That's why you need to stay calm and think this over carefully. Why does the Prince's Guardian Beast use such roundabout methods and allow traitorous people to live? There can clearly only be one reason. In order to add to the prince, Prince's pawns, in order to change them into something not human. By continuing on now, all you are doing is making things more advantageous for the prince. Just leave it to me and you rest. I'll handle it somehow. And how exactly are you going to do that? Well, I was hoping you'd figure that out for me while you were resting. Somehow I figured that's what you'd say. Idiot. 
How do you hold back such extraordinary talent? Chapter 385. End. Okay. So that was a surprisingly short chapter, guys. Like, very surprising. So, similarly, we had Theta try and kill uh, I believe it was the Ninth Prince. Something happened. And the Guardian, his Guardian Nen Beast, did something which brought him back to life, which then allowed him to survive and then kind of curse her. So, I'm. We got a little bit of a glimpse into the thing that like the first one is a scar, the next one is words, which is the second one, is the warning, and then the third one is literally death. A very painful and cruel death. So, it's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out in next week's chapter. But yeah, still nothing super crazy, nothing over the top. Um, yeah, I'm really curious about how everything's going to go down. The stuff I'm more interested in, in general, is the stuff with the spiders and Hisaka. That's what I'm more interested in over everything else. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Did you like it, didn't like it, all that kind of jazz. And as always guys, I'm free no one. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you guys next time with another live reaction. Peace.